our 12 Days of Christmas cookies. We're sharing our favorite cookies, bringing in bakers to give them a little holiday twist. This morning, it's your turn, Ginger. I can't wait. So it is that time of year. My kids and I have already started doing the cooking, and right here, we're taking them out. These are the chewy chocolate ginger molasses cookies, and this recipe comes from this woman right here, my friend, author of the best-selling cookbook, Half-Baked Harvest, and a true social media star. Nearly 5 million followers now. And I feel like I was one of the OGs because I've been there for a long time. I've been a long time follower. <laughs> it's so fun. It is really great to have you back. Thank you. We are going to make, obviously, a cookie with ginger. ginger can we make ginger. this molasses chocolate, all the other cardamom, everything that's in it, can we even add even more ginger? Oh my gosh, we can add more ginger. You can add a couple tables, a teaspoons. Don't do a tablespoon. <laughs> teaspoons of ginger, you guys. It, it, you okay. can make them as ginger as you like. All right, so heavy so on it. Let's go ahead and get All started. Right, so we've already creamed our butter and our brown sugar in here. So I'm going to have you add the egg, and I'm going to have you add. So put do the egg first, and we're yep. going to mix it up. And you are so good on your site, like the yep, way that you, you describe. What is this? This is molasses. This is molasses, you guys, and this is a classic. Classic, you want to yeah. add molasses to all your ginger cookies. Feels it makes very them so old good. school for the molasses. It's very, right? very old school, but like also it's delicious. It makes a really, really good, rich cookie, okay? Let's just turn on. <laughs> so you want to go like this? We're just going to go like this. I bake a lot. We're going to mix it up, guys. Okay. Do you bake a lot? Um, you, no. No, not no. at all, actually. All right. I cook a lot. So mix it up. You want to get it all nice and combined and mixed. And when you get it all mixed, you're going to add, we're going to add our flour. Okay. We've, now we're going to do the spices and the leavener. So we've got some baking soda, uh -huh. and that's going to make these cookies nice and light. We've got some ginger. Like I said, you can do one oh. teaspoon or two teaspoons. We love. Yeah. But you know what? Make it spicy. Go for extra ginger. we got yeah. some cinnamon, some cardamom, mm -hmm. and then we've got a little yeah. bit of salt. It's so good, especially with the vanilla that I put in the cookie ginger. And it really works. Kosher, right? Really kosher salt. salt. Exactly. Okay, now good. mix it all up, and you can really oh, smell no. it. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I bake a lot. It's all right. Now, you know what? We're going to roll down here Let's do that. because we've got some pre-made cookie dough already. Okay. And the really fun thing about ginger cookies, you guys, is that you get to roll them in sugar. They're really fun. They're really easy to do. So okay. take your... <laughs> Let's take a cookie scoop. Like, okay. Yes. Now what? Oh. Take a cookie scoop. You want to scoop the dough. Okay. Perfect. See, the cookie scoop makes it so easy, it right? Does. Now you pop it in your hand. Okay. Love this. And if you guys are having a hard time rolling your dough, my mm -hmm. trick is to rub your hands with a little softened butter, and then it really helps the dough. Instead of flour. Yes. And it, that way you're not like deflavoring your dough. You know what I mean? And we want a really good Christmas cookie, right? You get so sticky yeah. otherwise. Yes. And then so, you just no, throw it on No, there? we're going to do oh something fancy. We're going to roll it through <gasps> some sugar. Yum. Okay. And then yeah, we're going to plop them on our baking sheet. Okay. And you would bake these in a 350 degree oven. And they're going to come out looking like this. They're beautiful. Aren't they so pretty? Now, could we do, though, like, could we get a cookie cutter of, I don't know, a ginger woman? So these cookies are going to spread. If you wanted to add, the, if you wanted to cut them into cutouts, you could certainly add a little bit of flour to them. And I have recipes like that that you can use but not this specific cookie. Okay, all right, so It'll now spread. let's dress it up. So we're gonna dress it up because I love chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate, especially during the holidays? So you can dip, you can drizzle these cookies. So here's what I love to do. Oh. I love to dip it in some chocolate. This Look is how what pretty. Michael said. This is the way he was gonna eat it. Was it right? only if we really You gotta dip it. it in the chocolate. The chocolate really makes it delicious. Yeah. Or you can do some fancy things and you can take your fork oh. and you can make them like really pretty. Oh. So, so pretty. And then oh my you gosh. Yours, like right there. This can I just show you the difference? You know what? This is Tegan's, and that's what I just made. Wow. It's just it's a, come. it's just a flick of a hand, you guys. Don't put any any effort. That's the key, and the key is that too. But exciting. you know what you no. gotta do? Mm -hmm. You gotta we, we you, a little flaky sea salt is really nice on top. Okay? okay, it makes it really festive for the holidays too. Okay, we love that. Thank and then we're so down much. here. We're done, guys. Have you tasted them? So we good. Do, George. Delish. Michael, done. Done. <laughs> done, done, done. Eaten. How good are they, you guys? Come oh, on. Michael has one left that well, I'm going to No, eat. I love the chocolate. I'm I a chocolate, chocolate lover. I ate all of them. I'm going to make another one where we just like plop this third. all You can dip the whole thing. Up. You can cover it in Very chocolate. Good. It's so delicious. These are a great Christmas cookie, you guys, and you can Tea put them in cookie boxes, too. Thank you so much. Scan the QR code on the screen. You can get this recipe on goodmorningamerica.com as well. Tegan's cookbook, yes. Half-Baked Harvest, Every Day It'll Change Your Life, is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.